Hi, I'm Lance Reinhardt. My favorite part, my favorite part about teaching poetry is the, the space it provides for students who need a creative outlet, but especially in terms of a creative outlet, because there are lots of creative outlets, but in terms of using language to do so. Not all of our classes, English classes, you know, pr provide that um, or can provide it in the same way. So I love that there's that autonomy to say, hey, here's, here's something that is poetic in its design and then poetic then in its result, which the students and I can interact in and engage in together, even coming down to the discussion about poetry, including the creation of it, uh, how it strikes us, uh, what we do with it once it's, once it's out there. Uh, all, all of those things fascinate me. Flowers, oh flowers, petite little towers, rooted from the depths, growing tall and oscillating in the wind's breath. What such subtle beauty you have. Delicate petals containing a plethora of colors, thorns tracing the extent of the stem, but with ugly and threatening protrusions, your beauty still radiates on. Birth in the new budding, Reveals that life prevails even after cold and death. Something ever so ethereal, something that grows but cannot feel emotion. The most basic form of innocence remains untouched. An intoxicating perfume of spring, feminism, death, celebration, life. Love is expressed through a fixture of bright petals. Love aspires to have clean hands. Love is a flower that grows whether you want it to or not. Enigmatic, gentle, delicate, you. You float through my veins with the familiarity of an aged novel, knowing where I break, drift past my softest spots that have gone untouched, and behind you, a gentle trail of golden dust fills my lungs and brightens the blurry film that covers my eyes. When dusk paints pale skies gray, and the sun knows it is his time to rest, when my mind breathes through empty space and my heart begins to slow, Yours is a safe hand to hold. How heaven's tears rain from dark clouds. How silver droplets pound against the metal beneath the window. How flames from melting candles bounce and blend, intertwined with you, illuminating overworn pages of fading dreams worshipped at midnight. Your radiance is effortless, a quiet compassion I'd never absorbed before you. You are ancient architecture, Renaissance oil, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel.